Hey Internet, um, today we are going to be working in Adobe After Effects. I have CS5. Um, and we're just going to make a cool background with particles and a ramp in it. It, it looks pretty cool. You see it in like the higher end people, their intros usually. I know Light Totally Awesome, they have a cool particle background. Um, so we're going to be creating that today. But before we get started, if you're watching this now, when I'm at like next couple days, happy 4th of July. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Yay, patriotism. Okay, so we're going to get started. New composition. Just make it whatever you want. I use 720 HD stuff. And we're going to create a new solid. Make comp size. Doesn't it doesn't matter what color at all. The one thing you do want to make sure you do is move this over here so that whenever we're creating it, you can kind of see the um, the particles. You'll see what I'm talking about later. Okay, so we're gonna choose effect with the blue solid. So or your solid, mine's blue. Whatever yours is, but that's selected. Go to effect simulation particle world. We're going to turn off the grid because we don't need it. And you see if this, if the time was over zero you wouldn't be able to see the particles so if you move it forward it's just easier to see what you're working with. Um, so we're going to go to the physics, turn the velocity to zero and the gravity to zero. Alright, and then particle. Instead of line, you want a faded sphere. Then we're going to go to producer and just change the radius. So we kind of have like a square of particles, I guess you could say. And then this is the Z, so it moves it back and forth, kind of just gives it more depth okay and then this the longevity long longevity I don't know how to say that instead of one we're gonna change to three and then um, go back to particle and just change the color that's the birth color what it's like the newer particles and the older ones are just going to kind of change colors a little bit. We'll just move those to a lighter blue. That's not really blue. Right there. How's that? Okay. So that's pretty much it for the particles. Um, this, this is actually a pretty short tutorial. It's nice, easy, to the point. So then we create a solid. We're going to make it blue again. Actually, I'll just make it black to show you that it really doesn't matter. Just move it behind it. See, that's kind of more what the particles look like. It looks cool, in my opinion. If you don't like it, then you shouldn't be watching this tutorial. Alright. So effect generate. This is with the other solid selected. We're going to just call this particles. With this one selected, go to effect, generate, a uh, ramp. We're going to make it a radial ramp, and the start color is going to be a lighter blue, and the end color is going to be a darker blue. kind of like that. Now with this you can change the center of it. The center is going to be up here. But then you can change that kind of. It looks pretty good right there. And then you can what I do is cuz I don't want it I don't want the people to be able to see them particles appearing. So I'll just like skip ahead to the 2 second mark 
bring the particles timeline there and just drag it back to the beginning and just extend it and then they're already there and you can kind of see the particles moving but it'd be better if you use if you did the particles with like camera movement but um, then you pretty much just add your text and um, that's a pretty good looking background you can like I don't know why I keep doing that move it back or wherever you want it and actually you can move this below the particles and it'll have some of the particles overlapping it see what I mean um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial the only reason I made this is because it took me quite a while to find out how to make the particle system so I just wanted to make a tutorial for the people having the same problem as me but um well that's pretty much it hope you learned something from this and uh, make sure you subscribe and like this video maybe leave me a comment on what you liked so much about this video or a tutorial I can do in the future. I mean, it's a problem. I'm not getting very much uh, audience participation lately, so just help me out. Alright.